Hey there, students. Um, in this clip, we're going to be going over an example of related rates. Um, today, we're going to be focusing on a boat and winch for a real problem. Uh, let's go ahead and read the question real quick and then try to solve the problem. All right. So it says a winch 20 feet above sea level is used to reel in a rope connected to a boat at 2 feet per second. How fast is the boat moving when the rope is 45 feet in length? All right. So we have our 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 reel here. And this is a rope really in the boat. Uh, so let me just show you a visualization to help you see the dynamic relationship between the different measures that are happening here. Uh, so same problem. Um, so basically, this is a rope. This is the the winch that's pulling uh, the 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 boat in. It's connected at the base of the boat, which is at sea level. And um, you notice this is the vertical um, displacement. Horizontal displacement, sorry, horizontal movement, uh, which is X of T, and then this is a rope. And there's no measure here, all right? There's a reason for that. There's no Y here because this altitude is always constant, all right? So let me reel in the boat, and you can get to see how the different uh, components are changing, all right? So watch that. All right, you see? As the boat gets closer and closer, uh, these two measures are, dec are decreasing, all right? So they basically have a positive correlation. So this is basically uh, what, what we're trying to solve. So we're looking for, because the velocity um, of the boat towards, the, towards the, the, the reel changes with time. When it's 45 feet, the question is how fast is this moving? We know these two are moving. These moves are the constant two feet per second. But when it's 45 feet, how fast is the boat moving towards the reel. That's the question that we, we're, we're asked to solve, okay? So let's go back to the problem. So I have a slight a sketch here for my little yacht and then the rope, and then that's how high it is from the sea level, and then that's the uh, vertical line, all right? So uh, let's, let's label it a little bit so we can understand what's going on here. This is the sea, all right? And then I'm gonna call the, this movement right here, I'm gonna call it X of T. Okay, because it's the movement of the boat towards the post. All right, and then this right here is a rope, so I'm going to call the rope R. Okay, R of T. And then this one is get is the, the rope is moving. There's a movement along the rope's direction that's happening here because the rope is getting pulled in. Okay. All right. Um, and then this is a constant. I would have called it Y of T, but it's a constant. So let's just see how 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 high is it from the sea level is 20 feet so this is a constant 20 feet all right now what is the relationship between r x and t this is a right triangle right so i can call this um a i'm sorry the hypotenuse is always c so i can call this c call this c and then call that a and then call this b all right so what's the relationship between a b and c we know that um a square plus b square well, C squared, all right, from the Pythagoreans, and that applies to all right triangles. So, um, this is assuming that the winch is perpendicular to the uh, post, right? So, like this, we're looking at the altitude, all right. Uh, so, now let's plug in the measures that we have in here, and then we'll have a, a formula that connects all the measures that we're going to be dealing with. So, A is x, so we're going to have x squared. I'm going to leave out the t for now, okay? B is 20 plus 20 squared equals c square is r square all right let's simplify that a little bit we're going to have x square plus 400 equals r square all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this equation that relates um the movement of the boat towards the reel and the movement of the movement of the rope um, so that we can generate the related rates equation all right so how do we differentiate this formula right here we're going to use um, implicit differentiation. We're going to differentiate with respect to time, all right? So we're going to be using the power rule here to differentiate this and this, and then a constant rule for 400. So what's the derivative of x squared using the power rule? is going to be 2x x squared. I mean, 2x, and since we're differentiating implicitly, we have to use a chain rule and differentiate x. So the derivative of x is going to be the x dt, all right? And then when we differentiate 400, since it's a constant, it's just 0. And then when we differentiate r squared, we're going to have 2r, using the power rule again, and using the chain rule, it's going to be 2r dr dt. Okay? So the question asked us, how fast is the boat moving 
when the rope is 4 feet per sec, this is 45 feet. So we're asked to find the movement of the boat towards the coast, right? That is basically the x dt, because that's how fast the boat is moving, all right? So this is what we're looking for, how fast the boat is moving, all right? And it says when the when the rope is 45 feet, so at the instant the rope is 45 feet, so we know that r is basically 45, that's the instant that we're dealing with. Um, b is 20, but b doesn't play any role in this related rate, this is a constant, and when things are changing, this doesn't change it out to zero, so forget that. Uh, we're going to use it later though, not, not now. Uh, the rope is connected to a boat. Uh, the rope is going in at 2 feet per second. So this is the rate at which the rope is moving, right? Basically, the rate at which this rope is shortening in distance. So this basically is going to be the R dt. Okay? So then we need the x dt. We know that R is 45, and we know the R dt is 2 feet. All right? So let's, uh, let's list everything we have and see if we're good enough. All right? We have one equation. One equation, we should have only one unknown, all right? So let's list all the uh, variables we have. So we know that R, the rope is, we're looking for speed of the boat when R is exactly 45 feet. The movement of the rope is constantly um, two feet per second. All right, we know that. And then what else do we know? Uh, we need, x. In this formula, we need x, right? What on earth is x? How far is the boat? It's not indicated here, so we don't know what x is. All right. Uh, how about the xct? What is the xct? How fast is the boat moving? Um, let's see. Uh oh, that's what we asked to find, so we don't know what on earth that is, too. All right. So we have one equation, two unknowns, that's too many. There's no way we can solve it. So which one can we find? in order to solve this equation. We know that this is what we're looking for. So can we figure out what x is? Is there a relationship between xr and something else? Absolutely. We can use this Pythagorean relationship to find what x is when r is 45. All right, so we're gonna resort to this, back to this Pythagorean relationship that we had before we did the implicit differentiation, which is that x squared uh, plus 400 equals r squared. All right, now we're gonna plug in what I not what I need. I need x, and what do I know? I know that r is uh, 45, so 45 quantity squared. All right, so this will help us find the missing piece, so we can find what the x dt is. So let's solve this. So we're gonna have x squared plus 400. 45 squared is uh, 2025, and then you subtract 400 from both sides, and then you have. Um, x squared equals 1625. You root both sides. And you have x equals, if you do the steps, you're going to have 5 root 65. Okay? So x is 5 root 65 feet. All right, so that is what x is. x is 5 root 65 feet. Now, um, can we... Can we um, figure out what the x dt is? Can we? Uh, let's see. Well, let me just see. Let me just show you how I got this 5 root 65. I don't want anybody getting confused here. So let me just do that step. Although you, I assume you already know how to simplify radicals, but let's just do it just to make sure, okay? So I have square root of 1625. Since it ends with 5, I can take out a 5. So 5 goes into 16 three times. 5 goes into 12 two times. Um, and then, no wait, we have 5 goes in the, 5 goes in the 16, 3, 5 goes, and then 25, 5, alright? And then we can take out another 5 since, uh, it's, um, and then 5, so 5 goes in the 32, 6, and 25, 5. And then 5 goes in the 65, 5 remains the 13, alright? So since these two twos repeat, that's why they can come out as a 5, right? So these two come out as a 5, so 1, 6, 2, 5, these two don't repeat, so they stay as a sine square root. So you're going to have 5 root 5 times 13 is 65. Okay, so that's how I got this. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and look for uh, plugging everything we need. We have one equation, one unknown, which is perfect. Now we can go ahead and solve it for the xdt. All right, so we're going to have 2 times x. x is, let me put in parentheses, 5 root 65. 
uh, okay, dx dt is what we don't know, so dx dt. All right, I just substituted the left side, zero, forget that, equals 2r, the r radius, I mean, the length of the rope is 45, and the rate at which the rope is getting reeled in is 2 feet per second, okay? So we can solve this equation for dx dt, and we'll be looking good, all right? So this is going to be multiplying 2 and 5, it's going to be 10 with 65, dx dt equals uh, 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 45 is 180, okay? So we'll divide both sides by 10 with 65, 10 with 65. And uh, we're going to have dx dt equals 180 over 10 with 65. Okay? All right, can reduce, we can reduce this, uh, cancel out the zeros. It does, that means you're dividing by 10, right? So dx dt equals 18 over root 60, oh, yeah, over root 65. So we can have a square root as a denominator, so we rationalize the denominator, root 65 top and bottom. So that's going to yield 18 root 65 over 65, okay? So that's the XCT. Was a measure is in length per unit time. So the length, the measurement of length here is feet we're dealing with, and the unit of time is seconds, okay? So what on earth does this answer mean? This means that uh, when the length, when the length of the boat the length of the boat is 45 feet. At that instant, right, the boat is moving, is moving at 18 root 65 over 65 feet per second. Okay? So that goes your answer. All right, thanks so much for uh, paying attention to this uh, presentation. Um, please uh, feel free to subscribe to my to my videos if you like them so you can get a constant update to the videos and uh, share with your friends if you liked it. Collection of my clips can be found on madgoodserve.com. Thanks again for viewing this clip and have a wonderful day.